guys I've got to start with it please subscribe um, I've been told I've got to do that because apparently it'll increase our subscriptions but there you go today is handover video for an auto sleeper Ravina this is an operational video not a sales video so we're not going to be looking at the good and bad bits of the van although it is pretty good um, but uh, we'll dive straight in so in there goes your toilet flush or toilet pink just down here is your actual cassette for the loo so you'll have all, a lot of you have seen these before there's just a little lever under there to re the cassettes locked in so release the cassette take it to a suitable emptying point, spin the cap off, tip it the correct way, press this little button at the back when it starts to flow. That just allows air into the cassette whilst the uh, contents are emptying. So, oops, this is your exhaust outlet for the gas hot water system. So this cover comes off, you can leave it off for your whole holiday, you don't need to Put it back on every time you've finished using your water heater but your water heater won't work with that on because it won't be able to expel the fumes 240 volt hookup so remember with these your little blue flap goes in there on your hookup cable and when you're taking it out press this little button just to release the uh, the cable moving along here fresh water goes in there fairly obvious fairly simple use a hose pipe stick it in and just down under here we've got the waste water outlet so that's grey water that is your shower and sinks nothing horrible but again please be responsible disposing of that garden at home would do so uh, moving around to this side you've got your gas locker there your fridge vents don't need to do anything with those your awning just remember with the awning wind it out a short distance get the legs out they're tucked away just inside Get the legs down, give it some support before you wind it the rest of the way out. I'm going to dive inside and go around uh, some of the inside operationals. Oh, we have got a bit of opera on in here. I think we need that. So, we'll start with your fridge. You've got a little catch here to open the fridge. Two little holes so you can shut the fridge open with a crack open. Just great for storage stop your fridge going all smelly so your red is 12 volts 12 volts will only work when the engine's running you are running it on a 12 volt supply from the engine 240 volts will only work when you're plugged into mains and there's your temperature control for it on this side is your gas so you, again you've got uh, temperature control just there you'd turn that well let's we'll turn the actual igniter on Turn that round to gas, hold it to purge it through. Your little igniter will stop flashing when it's lit. And away you go. When you turn that back to zero, you're not turning the gas off, you're just turning the igniter off. So provided that's left there, your fridge will stay on. That's turning the fridge off from gas. So uh, there is an instruction manual with this, but some of you won't have the benefit of that. Um, so a couple more bits and bobs. Control panel. So this is your hot water. Literally, you just turn it on there, set the temperature, away it goes. This tells you if it's failed. On this side, we have your various on and off bits and pieces for your uh, for your lighting and other other rings. Up here, you've got a tells you how much water's in it and your master switch for on and off. The water reading does need to be calibrated with this, so if you know it's empty. Press that, spin that round until it shows empty just, and you're there. Your heating, fairly obvious these. Turn it round, hold it down, it'll click away until it's lit. And hidden away in the cupboard here, that is electric hot water. So when you're hooked up to mains, you can heat the water with electric rather than gas. Some trip switches, should you need them. And now we've jumped back outside because we've got a little correction to make. That's actually your drain for your fresh water tank. And this is your drain for your grey tucked away under this skirt. You literally just get your hand in there. Pull that out. There you go, there's a little bit in there. Pretty grim. And that is your, your grey water drainage. That just pops back up in the skirt. There's a little, little catch there to hold it. 
So for those of you who watched all the video, you'll know properly how to operate the water. So there you go guys, enjoy Ravina.